Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to show you the oil sample from my uh, OPS oil refresh video. So this uh, sample was taken on the 18th of April and they received it on the 20th of April. The engine oil has 52,957 miles on it. The truck has a total of 769,647 miles. And uh, so, yeah, I'll just show you a little bit and explain a little bit of uh, what all these numbers mean if you don't know. But uh, we're going to be looking here at number seven. So, the main concern, and it was red flagged, was the fuel dilution. Now, I knew it was probably going to be high because I hadn't changed it since um, since I got my uh, injectors uh, replaced. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on this because uh, this point here on the number six, uh, I actually did a filter change and that was it. I didn't touch the oil. So maybe that's why it went back up. I'm hoping, I don't know, I will be doing another sample uh, next week, so I will make another video about that, but I just wanted to show you this one. My fuel dilution has always been a little elevated um, since I bought the truck, so not 100% sure why. This is 7% uh, by volume, so it's actually really high. Um, but I did replace 7 gallons out of it. Uh, a full oil change would be 10 gallons, and realistically, it's probably closer to 13 with the oil filters. But um, yeah, so I so we changed out seven gallons of 13. Um, everything else looks pretty good, though. The viscosity is down by a point, uh, but the base number is actually pretty darn good for it having that much fuel dilution so I'm not really sure what is going on there like I said I will be testing it again um, but the base number doesn't really match what uh, what it's showing here and the viscosity yeah it dropped a point but if you look at it up here I mean I don't know like I said guys I I'm gonna do another a, uh, another sample here next week but uh, the two major numbers that I look at to see how good the oil is uh, you might be wondering on that like how do I how do I know um, when to change my oil um, you can go by these little green and yellow and red indications but you know that that's probably a little too late um, you want to check your base number and your zinc number Now you can always refresh your oil like I did with seven gallons and that will bring the base number up and the zinc number up um, I don't like it to go below 700 on the zinc the zinc is very important um, another number uh, which is important um, just your wear metals keep an eye on those um, number four here is where my turbo blew and that is also about the time right after that let's see right after that uh, September I believe it blew up in August no, October, I believe it was in October. Um, well, that couldn't have been right. But anyways, it, it blew up around this time. Um, I guess maybe in July it blew up. Oh, no, no, August, September. Yeah, that sounds about right. Anyways, um... I would have to go look back, but that's the reason why these numbers were elevated, um, was because the turbo blew. So uh, after that, you can see number five, the number started coming down. Um, I did another oil change, 
boom. Um, so they just kept dropping and, and leveling back out. Uh, so, but uh, the two numbers you really need to keep an eye on, and this is what I use to, to really, really watch um, because I do have a emissions engine. By the way, my sit levels are super duper low for being an emissions engine, which is crazy, but I don't know why. Um, usually these are elevated. Uh, they've always been low, and a lot of people that have looked at my samples, you know, they, they think that I've deleted my truck just because the sit levels have been so low, but that's good. That is real good. Uh, means everything's working properly, even though I did have to change the EGR valve, but... Hey, what are you going to do? Anywho, uh, back to the most important numbers. Um, you want to see if you have any coolant in your system. So blown head gasket, um, leaking, uh, cooling uh, uh, holes that are inside of your engine there, uh, cracked liners, um, cylinder liners, anything like that, um, it will put coolant inside of the oil. Uh, EGR cooler will put coolant inside of the oil. So uh, sodium and potassium, those are the two numbers that you look at. If one is elevated and not the other one, um, look into it. But sodium and potassium, usually when there's coolant, uh, your water will go up and your sodium and potassium will go up. So just, I always used to keep an eye on those. Um, your silicone too, you can keep an eye on that. Um, mine is like super low, and that's pretty much just dirt and everything inside of your, your oil. Um, usually what makes those rise is your air filter. So you can keep an eye on those too. Mine have always been excellent. Uh, I run a um, fleet air filter. So it's a it's not a paper filter. Um, it uses the uh, what is it the sponge elements um, whatever with the oil kind of like a Canon filter. Um, but yeah, so those have always been low. Um, so it's just a fuel dilution. I've always fought a fuel dilution in my oil. Um, anyways, guys, uh, here's the graphs. These are pretty helpful, kind of let you know what, uh, how everything's been going. Um, as you can see, my fuel dilution has just always been, this is from February of last year, 2017. And it's always just been a steady two to two and a half. Um, and then it just skyrocketed here, these last few ones. So, like I said, we'll, we'll get another test. We're going to check it out and see what it does. But everything else seems to be perfect on this engine. Um, so, it's a strong engine. And uh, work out this fuel dilution problem, then be all right. You know, I get 7.5 miles a gallon now. When, when my injectors were going out, I was getting about 5.8. So, I knew something was going on, but... Keep it. Yeah, guys, if you have any questions, um, let me know. You know, I'll, I'll go through another week here, and um, we'll see what it does. But uh, we'll see We'll see what the oil sample comes back. But uh, just comment below. Thanks for watching.